is the end of things. What the f Why are you so fixated on me? Because you're my friend. Just give up and let me cut you down already! This world <laughs> shall go pain. It's time you woke up. It's all over. Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Naruto Shippuden episode 495. Guys, they're going away fast. We're coming close to the ending and now it looks like they're gonna finish it up with a bang with Hinata's and Naruto's wedding. And when I say bang, I don't mean like the wedding night. I'm, I'm Pause, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, looks like they're gonna compete uh, with the gifts or whatever if they're gonna, you know, continue that narrative from the last episode. But yeah, the last episode was just sweet, man. It was just a sweet episode. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here, bro. I'm just happy to be here. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. It's not even about the plot anymore. It's about the characters. I just fell in love with the characters, and just seeing them is just enough for me to to, to have a great day. Okay. So guys, without any further delay, if you enjoy my reactions, feel free to share, subscribe, like, leave a comment, ring the bell for notifications, guys, follow me on Instagram, join my Discord server, and my Patreon page. Without further ado, man, let's jump right into this reaction. Let's go. A mission to find a wedding present, huh? Oh, oh yeah, yeah they're gonna... a wonderful opportunity to find a great gift, one that epitomizes the friendship that we all share. Mamaru! I feel the same way! <laughs> I will make sure they love my gift! So do you already know what you're getting them, Lee? I have no clue! <laughs> I know that it will come to me naturally! I will not lose to anyone! Wake up, Akamaru! Bruh, that was creepy! Well, traditionally, getting wedding gifts isn't a win or lose competition, so let's all try our hardest! There's no need to get so worked up. Everyone Come seems on. really fired up about this. I mean, to be honest, there's no way Kiba and, and Shino are gonna be at her wedding. Like, they were her literal teammates and the closest people, but Kakashi has a point. They're all joining now. And they're like, if they all go, like, somebody has to sacrifice, okay? And I think, like, Lee, Tan Tan, they were like, you know, they weren't on the same team as either of them. And they were close, but uh, of course, they're close, close, right? But not as close as everybody, so maybe they should, you know? I, I would volunteer if I was them. That would be my, that would be a perfect gift, right? Like a few of them just say, "Hey, I'm gonna go and, and, and right look after the village. You guys have fun." That would be noble, but I guess that's just me. You, Choji? I have a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna get. Let me guess, food. <laughs> this is such a drag. My man broke uh, his neck. <laughs> I mean, Shikamaru's smart. He should be able to figure something We're out. We're <laughs> going to assess and rank each gift. That way, we can determine who'll attend the wedding ceremony and who'll be placed on duty for that day's missions. <laughs> or, Lee. Hello! Oh, Bro. It's you, Lee. The ramen Naruto gets most often, please! Naruto's favorite ramen, huh? Let me see. Oh, Bro, what do you want to get? What do you want to bet everybody's gonna get him that? <laughs> Everybody's gonna get it that, yeah. Naruto would be like, what the hell, bro? I love all of you. <laughs> I mean, but I guess, yeah, you can't really, I mean, yeah, you can order it on the day of the wedding and just had it delivered. But then again, the wedding is gonna have food all over. So maybe not uh, the best gift, right? It's an easy one. It's our large miso and char shoe. Oh, yeah. I see. Right, go ahead and take a seat. Okay. Man. Idiot. Idiot. <sighs> How was it? What? I have come to understand why you would always want to order this ramen. But other than that, no, I do not. You can tell Yeah, him. the expression on <laughs> her face is my expression right now. What the hell is happening here? Like, are you okay? <laughs> like, Lee, what the hell kind of drugs have you been taking like this? Well, a guy feels just by eating ramen, life would be a lot easier. <laughs> True. Oh, hey, wait, Erica, you were Naruto's teacher, so you must know all about him, right? Your name is Lee, isn't that right? <laughs> You're a student of Guy's, aren't you? Yes, uh, and you were Naruto's teacher in the academy. The thing is, I was his teacher a long time ago. Oh, 
I see. Man. Why are you even trying to understand <laughs> Naruto's feelings in the first place? For his wedding gift. I thought that the best way to start would be to understand his feelings. Oh, so that's it. I mean, come on. That's kind of, that's noble as hell. That's wholesome, bro. That's wholesome. And I, it's wholesome that they're all taking this role so seriously, even though they do not know the meaning behind Kakashi's orders. Only Iruka knows that. So that's kind of, and Shizuna, obviously, but that's messed up, right? It's wholesome, but messed up because they don't know they're actually competing with one another and they're taking it seriously even though they don't know that fact now that those are some real friends right there i get it now oh. anyway to convey my intense respect for my friend naruto i am going to throw my whole being into finding the best wedding gift for him but these animations i'm glad naruto has a friend like him yeah. found you irika sensei you still haven't recorded your congratulatory message yet oh man so is that gonna be konohamaru's gift because honestly that's one of the best gifts, man, to just convey everyone's message to Naruto before the wedding. That's kind of wholesome also, man. But I cannot get over the fact that Konohamaru really got a glow up. Look at this boy. I, I couldn't even recognize him, right? Where are those little dots on his, right? I mean, look at my boy. He's got a bag. All the chicks, bro. Look at him, man. I, I'm proud of him. I, even though it has nothing to do with me or him. It's mother nature. But yeah, he got a glow up. Anyway, I have a question. Where the hell are Iruka and Kakashi single? Like, I can understand Ebisu. Why the hell are they single? Like, Kakashi and Iruka? Like, Kakashi's the Hokage. Like, he should have a wife or something, man. Come on. Not again. Come on. Naruto's wedding gift. Naruto's wedding gift. Ah, yes, of course. Dumbbells would be just perfect. They have a gym? <laughs> Naruto, Hinata, congratulations on your marriage. Dumbbells are most definitely useful and welcome tools. And their heaviness is surely symbolic of the solidity and the depth of friendship I share with Naruto. Giving him dumbbells might not be the best choice. I will have to think of something else. Man. Can you imagine just... Can you imagine him bringing dumbbells to the wedding? Like, that's, that, that's dumb. Bells. <laughs> Pun intended. Like, that's, that's jokes. Yeah, I cannot think of anything! What gift would make Naruto and Hinata happy? I guess that it should be something that. I mean, since you're asking a threesome, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm just. Reminds them of me. <laughs> if a kunai like this was specially ordered and prettied up a bit. A kunai knife? What are you guys on? Like, man, can somebody get them a normal gift? Wait a sec. She's in love with her dream man and getting married to live happily ever after. Well, I don't even have a boyfriend and train every day from morning till she night. She doesn't? When you think of her, you think kunai. Maybe I should think of something else. Yeah, something more girly. Maybe you're gonna get a boyfriend that way. <laughs> Listen, she doesn't have a boyfriend. She's hot as hell, man. Come on. You guys are crazy. Man, please don't end up with Kiba. <laughs> like something that doesn't kill people within a limited budget that still captures a girl's heart. You gotta calm down when you want to ask. Uh -oh. I am sorry. I just could not do it by myself. I had no choice but to ask you for help. So I came with you. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> I almost died. <coughs> sorry guys, I just, I almost died. I oh my god. <coughs> Water just oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna take a minute to just Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that was paying dividends. I was trolling them too much. I apologize, guys. I almost choked to death, as you clearly saw. So I'm just going to continue. Okay, let's go. But... <sighs> what would Neji do if he were here Neji. now? Oh, I get it. Instead of just sitting around trying to think of something, if we look at actual items, it might help give us ideas. Find something that expresses who we are. The soundtrack, also though. Naruto and Hinata happy. How about these? Tonfa? Maybe you should try to think of something a bit less out of yeah. the ordinary. <sighs> huh? You think getting kunai would make them happy? But those aren't mm. really necessary for marriage Come life on. at all. For newlyweds who cannot decide what they should have for dinner, they are perfect. Come on, is that any way to use Bro, okay, uh, Ali is wilding right now. He is wilding right now, and Tenten is falling for it. She might end up giving them the kunai knives. That's just hilarious. Let's go. Kunai! Idiot! Yeah. Idiot! I cannot believe we did not find a single thing. Lee. Hey, Lee. Neji? Uh, uh -huh. Damn. Damn. When you get stuck on something, you even continue to struggle with it in your dreams. But why are you here, Neji? Because 
I have something to tell you. Listen, Lee, and remember this carefully. Physical strength over endurance! Physical strength over endurance! The hell? And don't forget, Hugo. What? Hey, wait, Neji! <laughs> what the hell is that? They're gonna do my boy Neji dirty by killing him off in the war arc, and now they're gonna reintroduce them in such a goofy way? Come on, show, do better! It's like physical strength over endurance, and don't forget, Hugo, I'm out. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> anyway. Bro, I, I, this got me thinking, what would I get them for, for right? Because I feel like I'm a part of this show. Like, what would I get them for a wedding present if I was in the show? I'd probably do something moronic, like just cut off that swing that was just depressing as hell and kind of put it on fire and then record the whole process, show it to Naruto, be like, listen, man, you're never going to be alone again because you have her and all of us, right? That, that's going to be a little, you know, sentimental. You know, you got to put in that effort. I'm kidding. That's just, <laughs> that's just wrong. But yeah, you need to think of something that actually means something. You can't just give him a gift because, come on, it's Naruto. You, it, it has to be special. I thought you came because I was having a dilemma about a wedding gift and you wanted to give me advice. Neji! <laughs> Neji. What are they doing with these little scenes of my boy, man? Naruto and Hinata. My congratulations. <sighs> All right, I think that's it. Okay. That was perfect. I can just see Big Brother Naruto's eyes welling up with tears. Okay, I'm off to edit this. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Bro, they're just trolling on the kiddos and statues so hard right now. That little kid is just destroying Iruka. Look at Lee. He's depressed. Man, this is all over the place. Oh, Lee, hey. Hello, Iruka sensei Whoa, what the hell happened to you? I cannot decide on a gift for Naruto's wedding And on top of that, an old friend appeared in a dream And gave me advice that does not make any sense at all Oh wow, that sounds... This man's training his brain even while he's sleeping, bro he, If he's not training his body, he's training his brain it's Terrible Maybe I will never be able to convey the depth of my friendship to Naruto What is this now animation? There, there. Don't take all of this so seriously It's really gratifying to discover that a student I once taught has friends who will go to such lengths for facts him. but thanks to his upcoming wedding i got to talk to you and the others and as a result of that you've all allowed me to see another side of naruto that i never really knew about. that's kind of true man i'm grateful for that oh. i was just hoping you would be able to help me come up with ideas for naruto's wedding gift what are you doing with my boy bro what they're using him as a gimmick here like what he's just man why are they come on don't do my boy like that He's an amazing character, and you're using it for a man. I'm very sorry that I can't be of more help to you. But <laughs> considering all of the effort that you're putting into finding a gift for him, I'm certain that Naruto will be happy with whatever you choose to give him. Yes, that is it! Uh, what now? I must thank you, Iruka sensei Now! What could he possibly gain from that? Like, knock some sense in him? Like, he's gonna knock him out at his wedding? Like, <laughs> what? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Judging by your expression, it seems that you're still on the horns of a dilemma, aren't you? What? How can you tell? Your worries have something to do with the wedding gift that you've been trying to pick up. Of course. <laughs> Sensei, can you read what is in my heart and mind? <laughs> How long have the two of us been together in the springtime of our youth, Lee? True, they're practically like 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 one person, bro. But the way they're drawing Lee, they're just exaggerating, over exaggerating everything in this episode, right? My boy Lee, Ten Ten, everything, bro. Guy Sensei is still doing hand pull-ups, bro. My boy's gonna go ten eater gates. <laughs> I sensei, I cannot even decide what I should give Naruto for his wedding gift. I am still only half a shinobi. Never, Guy Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the hell are they doing? First, that was gay. <laughs> Let's go. A wedding gift can't be something common. However, it mustn't be too unconventional either. Well, if such a thing does exist, then it would definitely include wearing a fashionable bodysuit. Huh? No. But why a bodysuit? No. Suit? Can sweat and tears be given as gifts? Ew, gross! Wait. That is disgusting, but at the same time, do you remember that little episode with Jiraiya? Naruto kind of digged their get-up, so maybe he can give him that as a prop or just, you know, a little sense of humor. And it does, you know, kind of resemble, like, it's Lee's outfit, Guy's outfit. It kind of portrays their heart and soul and sweat and tears and everything, right? How hard they worked. And yeah, I I'm sure it will, you know... They can, Naruto and Hinata can cosplay in the bedroom. He can dress up as Lee. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, that's hilarious. Maybe if he, listen, I'm, I'm thinking throughout this episode, thinking what I would get him. 
Like, you know, there, there are there there are a couple. I probably like do they, like he he just mentioned a hot spring. Maybe get him to go to the hot spring, like a vacation, like for them to to go somewhere and just have fun, like in in another village or something like that. That would be cool. Like and they can they can organize that, knowing all the kages now. And uh, besides, are all the kages gonna attend that wedding? I, I'm assuming yes. This is gonna be one huge wedding, by the way. Who's not? Huh? In the first place, can man live on willpower alone? No one's on topic anymore. I'll circle the village on my hands five thousand. Times. I will do 5,200 then. 5,300. We've gone way off track here. So let's just go back to the beginning and go over the basics again. What is absolutely necessary for a wedding ceremony? Uh, well, would it be love? You're a poet. But be that as it may. <laughs> You're a poet. That's a wrong answer, though. <laughs> but yeah, he is a poet. Love? <laughs> I believe that the more correct answer is the bride and groom. <laughs> You okay. Right. Yes, exactly. It's just a regular old ceremony. And, and what the hell does that have to do with a wedding? With a wedding gift? With anything? <laughs> like this, man. <laughs> One could even say that it's more like a party than an actual ceremony. How oh, blind I have been. You have always been and always will be my role model. My everlasting I'm dead, dead right now. Oh, I'm listening. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. All right, then. I'll be the groom and Lee, you can portray the bride. Okay, guy sensei. Why do I have to play the baby? Not this again. Baby, Hi. yeah, brah! You're a man, come on, yes! Wedding, right? Married couple, they're gonna have babies eventually, right? Theoretically, so when you think about it, you can get them baby stuff. You can kind of set them up for that. Like, that's that's cool, man. That's a cool way. Yeah, guys, that they might actually be onto something here, okay? Honey, I'm home. Do you have any idea what time it is? Oh, How dare you? Seventh gate of shock! Bro, what is happening? <laughs> okay, these guys are... I, I think it's safe to say they're lost without Neji. Because Neji would have stopped this like 20 minutes ago. He would be like, just stop. <laughs> guys, I'm not a part of this. <laughs> I did it yet? I believe that I have almost figured it out. But after all that, it is still far off. A husband's young female co-worker appears out of nowhere to threaten his peaceful family life. Neji would definitely take on that role. Bro, oh, there's no way. How can you misunderstand Neji so Neji? much? I get it! At last! <laughs> so that was your message, Neji. The newlywed life is a non-stop test of strength! Oh, yes! And newlyweds must prepare for that! The truest gift from us is some dumbbells! Are you kidding? Guy Sensei! Oh, Lee! Oh, Guy Sensei! Lee! Alright! We just watched all of that just for them to return to dumbbells. Are you dumb? <laughs> like, what? Man. Lee, you shall give the left dumbbell to them. Yes. And I'll give the right. Hey, I'm going to go with a custom made kunai. <laughs> and she's going to get a kunai. What? Like, this episode could have ended in the first two minutes. Like, they said, man, listen, this episode is just weird. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, but it's weird. <laughs> You fool! You want a delivery? So, oh, you've decided on a wedding gift, a have you? Well, if you believe that I was able to help you, then that makes me very happy. What are you saying? Naruto is blessed to have a mentor like you! Naruto's mentor, huh? Maybe I should find out more about how Naruto's grown after leaving my care. Yeah, and man. The bonds he's made with his friends. Huh? That's awesome. Oh, Konohamaru, you have great timing. About the message I recorded earlier, would it be okay if I do it over? He's gonna do it again. But why? I want to find out more about Naruto and send him a proper message this time. Yeah, man, come on, respect. Coming up, one large miso char shoe. Right, a large miso char shoe ramen. Why is my boy? <laughs> bro, what, is, what What are they doing, bro? Honestly, is that it? Honestly, I think at, at this point, this episode, I was just looking forward to the Edo casinos because everything else was just crazy as hell, bro. Like, what, what was, what were they doing to my boy Lee and, and, and Guy Sensei? Like, they're just 10 10? Like, they're just dum dums. Like, what? <laughs> they're gonna get them dumbbells and, and a kunai knife? Yeah, I guess we know who's gonna be uh, under guard when the wedding's gonna take place because there's no way, there's no way they're gonna win the present competition with, with those presents. But okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put a price tag on, on a present. It's still like the thought that counts. 
but that thought is dumb. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the Edo casinos are just wholesome, bro. Yeah, they have that special bond, man. Ever since that, ever since the first episode, bro. This is episode 495, bro. That, that's such a long way, man. We've come such a long way, man. I am, I am just. I cannot believe this is ending, bro. I cannot believe this is ending. This was a weird episode, but it had its moments and I almost died uh, choking, so yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, but I really wanna, I, I really wanna get Kakashi and Iduka a girlfriend if they don't have one, but I don't think they do, so come on, man. How the hell are these people single? Come on. You have so many beautiful... I'm just gonna stop. Guys, that's all I have for you today. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Love you.